today we are going to shoot this new um, 8mm round uh, with 10mm casing, 3D printed. Uh, out of this 3D printed um, kind of rifle looking gun, which, which I made uh, just for um, testing this bullet. So this is very simple. Well, just pull it back and shoot. It's actually loaded, so I need to be careful with it. It actually had a longer barrel before, but unfortunately I had to cut it. And now, uh, before it was 50 centimeters, now it's 15. And it does affect this, the speed of the, the bullet. It cost like 10 bucks to make, this is very cheap. I made a 10% ballistic gel. As you can see, I, I already shot it with a just normal, without rifling, just normal. And we are now going to shoot it again. Oh, no jelly. Huh? Holy fuck! Holy shit! Holy fuck! Oh my god, that time came off. Actually, uh, it's uh, a key hold and the boat hit sideways, so it went just for like um, maybe like four centimeters, um, which is less with the round that I shot uh, before uh, from point blank. So, this is something. Oh, look at this nasty. Room cavity with you can see the unbound powder inside the the match stick the match stick powder. Okay. The whole tumbling issue. Everyone always says to me. Then just add a rifle in. But this is not that simple. Adding rifle to the barrel would be a problem. Because when the bullet gets inside the rifle, it can cause a lot of back pressure. And because of that, the gases will try to escape from the back. And possibly backfire. There is also the chance that a plastic bullet would break inside the barrel because of the rifling. Adding the rifling to the bullet itself would be also a problem because the gases would rather escape around the bullet and the bullet would be much slower. When I tested it, it doesn't even affect the tumbling that much, but it does affect the speed. The best way to make the bullet stable is to stay with the smooth bore barrel and just design a ballistically stable 3D printed round without a spin, just like in a smooth bore shotgun. If you know how to create a ballistically stable round, feel free to join my Discord channel and share your design. The hammer got back and uh, hit me. Um, in the head, um, but I have um, glasses, so I'm fine. And we can see also the, the shell. 
the 3D printed shell uh, casing which looks great uh, but we can still shoot without it let's see yes this is fine but those are three types of wood that I made this is this for for the pistol this is the bullet that, that now shot just a um, full plastic bullet with a hundred percent 3d printed infill which is one gram and um, the bullet that now I want to shoot is actually a 3d printed that inside inside it there is two five meters balls inside stainless just uh, which is uh, the whole round is uh, two grams overall so it's uh, twice the the weight from the the, the round that now i shot which is because i have a, a short barrel this is going to utilize the, the barrel much better and it's going to be great and uh, let's shoot it so to reload i just uh, take this back and put bullet inside so the bullet should be something like that inside and we'll just close it take this back and ready to shoot so let's shoot אנחנו הסקנו, איך קוראים לזה? The boat, I think the boat is stuck inside the barrel still, maybe the case to be here so the the bullet was actually stuck inside the barrel right over here now I want to shoot a whole point round This is a sort of like an RIP hollow point sort of round with a hollow point and like those things Those like four um, things here that would expand inside the gel And I, this bullet I, I think I'm going, I'm going to shoot two of those One from, from, point, bla for, from point blank and one from like an like 50 centimeters away okay so now I'm going to shoot the hollow point RIP round f uh, from point blank what because at the time of filming I was under the influence I forgot the tool I used to get the squib out and it caused the gases to either go from the back and the gun backfired and hit me imagine what would happen if you would hit me in the eye oh he shot the iphone inside and I had the revenge bar so I can still see the rocks after that he went back home to finish the testing there In this shot, I kinda missed the bullet g uh, got into a part of the gel, got out and hit the wall and it almost got 300 FPS For comparison, I brought my slingshot and shot the same steel ball but without the actual Body. 
So in this shot, the slingshot got 180 FPS, but we can also see that that the bullet got way in the gel, which means that the gel is not a good comparison for actual real ballistic gel. And the bullet shot uh, from a slingshot at this speed should get around just three centimeters in the in the body, which also means that the rounds I shot earlier from the 3D printed gun probably would go less in the gel. We also can see that the room cavity on the slingshot is really tiny com compared to, to the nasty 3D printed round room cavity. After that, I just got bored and shot the coconut. So overall, this gun is kind of a failure, but it was great for the reason that I made it for, which is to do some testing for future projects. And for this, what you see here is the case of the round get pushed back from the explosion, and it's exactly what you need for some automatic shit. Making this gun took me like two days and it was really cheap and it's gonna help me a lot on the projects that I work on, work on right now. Because of some other projects that I have, which are unrelated to guns, and also waiting for the parts for the guns to come, it will take some time till you see me, but 